I got so many Sagittarius scandals. I don't know which one to put out. Everybody up here, Sagittarius, 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 Sagittarius. <sighs> Game of Sagittarius. Little Cusper, Uncle Brucey, Sagittarius. <sighs> I want to bring Jamie Foxx out here, Sagittarius. Little baby up there on JJ at Sag. Little baby is Sag. Even when I just Sag. Everybody is Sag. <sighs> Oh, so sad. She spazzed out. Y'all made me deal with sad. Y'all got sad in my chart. Okay, so why I went to Chipotle, dog? <clears throat> I don't know why men like to just, it's like when they see me, they just spill their guts out like I'm some type of priest. And I'm always dressed incognito, so don't nobody talk to me. So I'm going to be looking mediocre when I go to the store. I don't care. He ain't trying to meet nobody. I'm trying to get these groceries to get up out of here. I just got to get up out of here. So he looking at me because he's saying, oh, she a little chunky. He wanted them dudes to talk like fat girls. That's fine. I don't want you anyway. I'm just behind you in the line. So it was a girl at the counter paying for her food. And she had a derriere on her. And she had on, you know, form-fitting clothing. So I just see his head just... He just hypnotized by her ass. So I'm like, oh, God. So I ain't paying no attention. I'm still ready to get in line to get my bowl. So he turns around and he said, you know, it's just hard out here right now. I was like, why you say that? He was like, because you don't know whether it's, you know, you don't know whether it's a man or a woman. And he said, I don't know. They're either to go for it or they, you don't know if they're going to say, hey. <laughs> And it ended up being a man. I said, well, yeah. I said, man, it's bad out here. I ain't going to sit up here and come to you. You know, outside of that, it's just, it's, it's fucked up out here. I'll be in a house. I don't really know. You know what I'm saying? I'll be in a house. And he was like, um, no, I got to be outside. He looked every bit of 50. I give him about 47. 50 at best. I said, well, you a man, you know. Men can be out here and about. I said, but the men like you that say you got to be outside, you sit up here complaining to me, but you don't know whether you're talking to a man or a woman, so you get to see what's outside. I said, most of the good girls is in the house. He ain't outside. He ain't want to hear that. He ain't want to hear that. He wanted to keep harping on. I was like, did you sleep with a man and you trying to, like, get it out in your own way? I ain't your judge, but it just seemed weird, y'all. And I said to myself, so, I said, he kept harping on how bad it is out here, how he don't know, you know what I'm saying, who a man, who a woman, he just kept on with that shit. So I was like, well, on some real shit, women, straight women, that ain't getting no surgery, no nothing, just, just take me as I am type of woman. Bruh, <laughs> you won't want that. You want something. He want like Barbie kind of shit. You can tell. He not about to be sitting up talking about help you lose some weight or loving you just for the food pie you got. You know what I'm saying? Uh-uh, honey. He want it tight and right. But he keep coming across men that are trainees, I'm pursuing. He just was like traumatized. Yeah, I was talking to my dude. Then he gonna say, what's your sign? He was like, I know you know what's going on out here. You look like you know what's going on out here. What's your sign? I see a Virgo. It was it was trippy to me. He asked, what was my sign? I was like, I already know. Everything that became so trendy. It was a time where people were taboo about telling your zodiac sign. Think you a weirdo if you ask them for theirs. Now you just blatantly asking me, what's my zodiac? He is a Scorpio. So I wanted to say, I didn't even go in depth. I was going to say, shit, you ruled by genitalia. You know what I'm saying? So... If you don't know, that's really bad. You know what I'm saying? You may want to slow down on looking for love in all the wrong places kind of situation. He was so distraught. He was like, all right, I'll see you later. I'm like, I'll see you later. Bye. You know, but I was like, later on, I was like, mm. he just didn't sit right. Gave me a heebie-jeebies. And I was like, damn, that's crazy because he was handsome. His nails was groomed. He was a worker. He was a working man. Like he do construction or something. 
Yeah, so he wanted to be baby, but when I tell you, I wouldn't trust him as far as I can motherfucking throw him. Why are you talking about a damn trainee? Maybe because you the liar. Maybe that's why you can't get all these fake ass situationships. Kind of situation. Now stay at the good girls in the house. You talking about you want to be outside? Well, that's what's outside. Deal with what's outside. You know what I'm saying? I ain't that outside. If people like me, women like me, ain't out that outside. They still get taking care of their children or trying to build a business or doing something. They ain't on the scene, yo. You know? How you gonna find them? I do not know. Because they ain't got no food power. You know? Or they ain't a little overweight. Because you definitely, I ain't going for that. I need baby. Because the girl he had his eye on, she was <coughs> like, shake me. She was, and she didn't tell she worked out. But he didn't know what the, she was doing. Man, he was just, he was fucked up. I was like, damn. He said he'd be like, he'd be like this, back and forth with himself. Because he don't know, you know, whether he going to be saying, you know, getting a man number or getting a woman number. But you want to be outside. Man, come on. That's already punching it back in his fucking head. Not for me, but for somebody he may be missing out on because he's so busy looking at some shit that ain't even compatible. This is, she's skinny like yo ass, so girl might be chunky. Not me, nigga, because I wouldn't trust your motherfucking ass, but it's somebody out there that would. That shit. I was just, I just got my car, was just like, this is just, this is just like, why did I have to, you know, why do you have to discuss that shit with me? Fucked up out here. Stay out from out here. Maybe you can meet her out of Chipotle or something. Like the girl you, you know, second guessing. <sighs> Y'all, I need that. You know, it's a Walmart. Sam always pranking me. Sam wants it. Always pranking me when I go to Walmart. You got to sell checkouts more than anything now. So I do that now. The girl went, I was trying to do a ritual with Uncle Prince. So the girl, the price wasn't the price. He was showing me that. They always giving these damn, putting these prices out here for you to grab it. But then when you get up front, it's a totally different price. Like, way, like more money. I'm like, damn, I got to take a picture of every fucking thing just to get the right price? <laughs> so the dude I hit the buzzer dude come over there he really wanted me to move so he could do the money thing like put extra change in a little money part or whatever I'm saying to myself you really want to help me so he advises me suggests that I go over to the cashier I'm like well I'm here he like I don't know it just voided itself because you took too long I'm like no your associate took too long. You know what I'm saying? Like, she said she couldn't override a price on alcohol. I understand that, but quit putting a motherfucking price up there that ain't true. And I would have never grabbed it because I didn't want to pay that much. I grabbed it because it was at the lowest, you know, the lowest price I had ever seen before. <laughs> as far as energy. <sighs> Two of Cups. Man, when I tell y'all, this man smelled like, he gotta be crazy. There's no way you can smell like that and not be fucking out your man. <laughs> I'm like, Sam, come on, bro. <laughs> I'm trying to get this shit. Oh, man. <laughs> Why are they hiring these people? I don't know either. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, if he smell like that, Sam, you know, damn well, he's still a, what if you want me to see that kind of shit? It would make my whole, I had to recheck out everything, y'all. I had it bagged up, ready to go, ready to pay, get the fuck up out of there. It just disappeared. Boop. I turned around, I said, what the fuck? So I had to call him over there. Honey, baby. <laughs> what I say? Honey. You, baby, listen, listen, Linda. 
Sometimes I lay off of always jumping in the tub just to help my country on the water reservation, preservation side, you know? I don't stink. Like, man, come on. That shit was crazy, bro. And it's not... <laughs> not the first time. He yeah, ever that bitch like this. Like, he don't stink. And the nigga, he was... He had, like, he had a nice personality and everything. But, bro, like, like, why isn't anybody addressing that? Is what Sam wanted to know. Like, I don't know. I don't work here, bro. This would be me and Sam Walton. Every time I go to Walmart, I swear, y'all, I swear, I'll be like, man, you got a, you got a lot of work. Oh, I just want to get, I said, you know what, you just said this shit, you trying to send me over there, because you want to put this money in here, you ain't thinking about me as a customer, I just cussed his ass out, and Sam knows I'm going to do that too, cuss him off on me, I'll cuss his ass out and walk away, this thing so bad, I want to jump into a stinking ass. Just tear up a man's legacy, you know? That's what you got to think about, Taurus. Y'all ruined the second house, and y'all pulled the second house. And that is your beliefs, what you value, your resources, patiently, what you want, get what you need. I mean, when you if you build something and you die, turn the cuts. I mean, your name got to be on that, you know? Some of y'all understand that. Understand struggle. Understand value. You know? Understand loss. That's how you really get to understand value. When you've had so much tremendous loss, it really makes you understand value in a really, really profound way. Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, Energy. We got Sagittarius on the board. Leo. <sighs> um... Gemini, Aquarius. Right. Don't talk, just listen. I just got on my way. It's not this nail. I was like, come on. Come on. People smelling that shit and they ain't saying nothing. Like, we're right. That's just you got to think about when you building something. Shit matters. I don't give a fuck what nobody say. You a hard boss to work for. This and that. No. I'm trying to keep you on your square. Because if you don't get kept on your square, then you're going to go crazy. And you're going to be stinking. You know what I'm saying? That's a real shit. People be in deep depression, deep grief. They just let their self go. But they still got to keep it living. But damn, I don't smash. I don't know how I got on that show. I was just telling y'all how crazy it is. Every time I go outside, I ain't got to be out there more than an hour. And I just, like, God just be showing me how fucking crazy. Whether either God show up in Sam Walton, ain't no separation. He's showing me how crazy this shit is. How come in Chipotle, you telling me about your training problem? You want to holler at the girl at the register, but you scared. She go turn around. She go say, thank you. Yeah, call me tonight. Like that. That's what he said. <laughs> He's so evidently, this is the shit he keeps coming across. When I say order, I ain't I'm sad. Women like me that's skinnier, because I know it's what you're trying to, you know, say what I'm saying. They ain't outside, bro. I got to be outside. Okay, well, listen. Train up the training in the way they should go. It's all I can say. Uncle Prince had me in Walmart parking lot one time. That's with these young white children, man. They was teenagers. They was so scared. Just you could tell they was disconnected from race and all that. They don't. They don't really know nothing about black people. Oh, he. I was like, Uncle oh, Prince, not today. Queen Ether. I can't even remember what I said to him, but 
it was crazy because it was really him. I just let him, you know, possess me. I talk about bitch, my hair down, pit prince lips to me. <laughs> tower honey my point is you don't know what the fuck is out here if you get somebody half decent and they know you have decent based off of what they done saw and I observed and y'all done observed them honey you better work with what you got because this shit out here is fucking insane some of y'all lost patience with the dating scene how is it difficult to find one person for yourself on a planet of 8 billion people. That's kind of creepy to me. Where it's plenty of fish in the sea, but you can't say that no more because all of the fish got goddamn mercury in them. <laughs> Stinking up the place. She's like, oh, for real? Some of y'all might have went on a thing or somebody stinks thing. No stink thing. Ooh, ain't this something? When a man stink, that's something. Women, we ain't gonna go through our little, you know, the alcohol in our bodies and do all kinds of stuff to make sure we ain't all your tart tart. But baby, when a grown man stink, stink, honey, baby, don't even think about it. Don't even think about reshuffling. Don't think about spinning that wheel, honey. That's like being on the price is right. You got 80 cent. <laughs> do not try to, do not try to turn that wheel you get that 20 just to get to 100. You got 80. Go on the fuck here now, now. Whoever you're with that got some sense, not a hangman energy, somebody that y'all can lean on their back and they not break. Or go to lean on it and they ain't even there. The dating scene is so fucking thrive. He was like, yeah. I told him, he said, he said one, one, I guess he ended up talking to, he said, yeah. I told him, listen, I understand you had a little surgery every time, but you're still a man just like me, and I'll beat your ass. I'm like, okay, but this is what's outside. Why are you that outside? Are you considering it? Are you trying to see how it fits? Are you trying to see if you say this to him, how he's going to respond to you? Is that something that you can deal with because you're just that thirsty for a mate? They look a certain kind of way. Ass gotta be. Uh, uh. That let me know. I said too to myself. I said, oh, so this is crazy. This is crazy because a man like that will get a woman and get the BBL and tighten up her waist and do all that shit. And he is still cheating on her because he's not satisfied within himself. If you gotta always be outside. Man, I know your old ass line. I know you lying. He was not planning. He said, no, I gotta be outside. I'm like, oh shit, you tripping. Right. Straight up, Knight of Wands energy. And but it was King Pinnacles all day. But man said, King of Wands. Mm-hmm. People gonna find them somebody and go sit down. Mm-hmm. Because they can't deal with this. It's just too much pressure. You know, it don't even matter. You see, they two different types, archetype energy as far as how they wear their hair, how they dress. Even though they both got on a you know turtleneck and the same low key color, you know, more straight up Afro, natty dreads. Nikki gonna have her some slick on. So all I'm saying is, they, it don't even matter. They just can't deal with multiple women, different personalities. Where they, you sit up in the nine of wands, but you gotta have different, you got that many fucking personalities for real. Cause you end up being, having multiple personalities when you don't deal with your traumas. And depending on your sign and how your shit set up. <clears throat> oh, motherfucker be straight up moody blues and need a woman for all of his personalities kind of shit. But baby, when I say they can't take it, when I say they tired, Some of them determined. Or oh, the dude that I talked to at Chipotle, oh, that's 
That's what he on. That's what he on. He never hurt you. And keep yourself all the way grown like fabulous. He probably dressed like Fabulous. The rapper Fabulous on his days off. So, you know. Razzle dazzle. Razzle dazzle. The one God say go ahead on and do your little lottie dot thing. Don't even touch him. Let him, you know, get tricked by trainees. It don't even matter. It don't even matter because you're going to do what you want to do anyway. Stubborn. You know, could be some y'all dealing with parts watching, y'all dealing with some stubborn tourist men that just refuse to let the player lifestyle go and y'all refuse to be bothered with that shit and y'all looking for a whole ass new love that's a different vibe that ain't on that motherfucking trash. And got some mutability of a Virgo, you know, flexibility, ain't stuck. I ain't talking Lucky Luciano stuff. I'm talking Tyrese stuff. And I ain't talking Tyrese. I'm just saying Nine of Wands energies, still learning lessons, quick temper, still driven, ambitious, you know, unpredictable, cocky, eager, brave, but quick temper, unpredictable. Remember what I said. I, I felt like I wouldn't be able to throw him across the street. What else I said he said to do? I don't remember. Remember, I'm a man. I still beat your ass. Quick temper. Eager. Cocky. Oh, oh, he was the Knight of Wands all fucking day long. I was like, bro. I just want to get my foot a little bit of water here. I do not know why you keep landing trains. Stay from outside. Oh, I gotta be outside. Okay, well, what the fuck? So I'm just saying, y'all outside. That's what y'all. That's what they. They on the prowl. But whether they gonna be there three weeks from now, I don't. I don't know. <laughs> I don't even know. I don't even know exactly. Exactly. I don't even know. I don't even know. Strength card in reverse. Some of y'all the same way. You got all the sense, but you don't have time to deal with people with none. And you know when people don't have none. Motherfuckers is choosing death. That's what the fuck this is saying. They is. Everybody ain't gonna choose life and life more abundantly than not. So you gotta know who the fuck choosing death and who choosing life because you get up in a situation with somebody that's out of their fucking mind. They just handsome. They just cute. I liked how his print looked and his gray joggers. Ooh, girl, his nails was clean. Ooh, girl, that just mean it take more time on the outside. So that, you know, any mental instabilities don't show up as quick. Of these. That's what my ancestors are saying. They got a slew of these too. If I mean, if you if you hit it and quit it and everybody after three weeks, I mean, yeah, you're going to end up with a whole bunch of people. It ain't no different than having a black book back in the day to go back and reference. You know what I'm saying? That's like that movie with Sanai Lathan and uh, Wesley Snipes. I can't remember the name of it, but I'm pretty sure you Google it. Sanai Lathan, Wesley Snipes. Like that kind of shit. Ugh, y'all. Yeah, just a bunch of, just imagine that combo, honey. And they some of them still live with their mother experience now. But they act like they just got it going on. You just meet them, they look normal, everything. They got the school of these, big moms and crazy. They learn, blah, 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 blah. And they live with their mama. Or their mama's boy where they really can't stand on their own too without their mama. You know what? <clears throat> Mm-hmm. Some of y'all deal with a Virgo. They may deal with just all gotta be told what to do by a woman. They don't know what to do. So then that makes if you get in a situation with that type of individual, it will make it like you, yeah, y'all don't even deal with this shit. 
So you got to compete with what other women said, whether it's their mama, their sister, who they was dating in the past, they hang on their exes, all that shit. Oh, they see, that's, that's that, you at, you come to a family function and they exes show, oh, that's just, oh yeah, that's just my girl, that's, 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 that's. and you got to head to the bathroom because you fucking crying. You know what I'm saying? Because they going to check you about an ex kind of shit. She cool with my family, blah, blah, blah. Like, oh, I don't, I don't, I did not sign up for all of this motherfucking shit. Clean that shit up. Six of swords. Some people moving away from death. Six of swords fell on a death card. Some people ain't gonna choose death. They're gonna choose life and life more abundantly. And some people gonna choose fucking death. Just to remain in a Prince of Wands, Knight of Wands energy. Same energy. Just a walking tower that's dressed nice, you know? And well grown. A well grown walking tower. Real shit. this oh wait oh god biggest gaslighter in town <laughs> okay this shit you know also real shit just always a conflict you know ain't about to sit up and explain leave one woman go to the next one she got to tell them how to do what to do dump her off get another one she got to tell them what to do come on honey you gonna be crazy by the end of this little storyline <sighs> mm-hmm Feel like this, but grown men. Y'all know I'm not lying. A grown man know they grown. They made. God made them. If another man didn't make them, but they made men. They understand struggle. They understand, you know, sacrifice, hard work, dedication, loss, grief, value of human life, for real. And value of money, for real. Y'all rule second house. That's possessions all day. Y'all possessions ain't right. If y'all ain't looking like this in the motherfucking second house, y'all ain't got to take. Let me tell you something. Y'all be sick to y'all stomach, but rightfully so. You know? Like, imagine a tourist like this. A man tourist sitting up in the Seven of Wands with a disconnected motherfucker under some fucking spell work. But they hold... Purpose in life is to always have resources. Resources to know what value is and to teach other people the value of human life and resources. <laughs> their beliefs, their convictions is really what their purpose and their balance and their harmony. You know, that's what they need. But they end up in a situation where, yeah. It's so crazy. People do not know what to do with each other. But want each other. Mm -hmm. Just juggling. Juggling. Now women get to the point where they juggling men. Mm -hmm. Six of Pentacles. Y'all terrible. No more drama. Y'all want it simple. Y'all know exactly what y'all want. Y'all want it simple. Y'all all cried out. Y'all ain't never got the time. You know, I ain't about to be trying this for too long. You know, the juggling. Yeah. Everybody ain't working out. Everybody ain't about their motherfucking mind. Taurus, keep plenty sense. Y'all are a stable, stable energy. A mentally stable sign. Because you're fixed. It's just when y'all fix the wrong way, it's fucked up. But if y'all fix the right way, and y'all realize y'all made a mistake, and y'all correct yourself, autocorrect, y'all gonna keep going in the right direction. It's just bad when the Taurus gets fixed and goes in the wrong direction. Then you end up in a seven of wands type situation because you didn't know when to break ties or cut ties with something that was no good to you or no good for you. But that goes along with learning yourself. You know? Learning lessons. Nine of wands, but you ain't about to... How many... Y'all, every lesson ain't worthy. They say either they a lesson or a blessing. You tell me how long you're supposed to stay in some shit or how how old are you supposed to get 
to where you say, I ain't about to keep on. I've learned my lesson in certain areas where some shit, I don't, I, I, I listen, I got a PhD in that shit. Now it's time for blessing. I don't, I don't want to keep relearning these hard ass lessons with these fucking knuckleheads just to end up with your fucking add me to their black book, i.e. cell phone contact list. To learn what? Keep learning what not to do? And you know exactly what the fuck works for you and what doesn't? I'm just saying, I'm all up in your Kool-Aid. Yeah, people be doing too much. Ooh, mm -hmm. y'all can't take it. Y'all can better be homeless outside and start over with no possessions. You can sit up with this kind of shit. This is the female um, Tauruses. The deal with somebody like this, you know, you get them. They cute, they well dressed, they well groomed. And then you get them, and they motherfucking third eye is in a root chakra kind of shit. They don't know nothing. Everything they talk is a program. Hangman energy crazy as a motherfucker. What somebody else told them. All they say is cliches and shit. You're like, what the fuck? And then the Taurus man, ain't about to deal with this. Some of y'all waking up to some shit and moving the fuck away from death of any kind. It doesn't matter. Y'all would rather. Some of y'all would rather. Fuck that shit. Some of y'all was born in 75. 1975. Some of y'all are high priest energies. Magical motherfuckers. I don't know if I'm going to magic at the time when you need to get into us. Uh huh. Be sitting up to you just like this. King Dingaling, honey. It'll be a straight up mask wearer sitting up on that Seven of Cups. Be a goddamn warlock. Don't think me and don't do witchcraft. Honey, please, just the fuck they do. Don't, don't underestimate these motherfuckers. Uh huh. Be on some teamwork. Yeah, because I was telling my dude. It's like, what? It is this sit right, y'all. I ain't capping. I was like, this was. This was me and Chipotle. I was, I was, and he was really, and I was like, look, look, and I was about to say, oh, I read tarot. I get that shit. No, uh -huh. mm -hmm. See, no evil here, no evil like a motherfucker. Three of swords. Some of y'all coming out. Yeah, man, what the fuck with the Man, there ain't that much learning in the motherfucking world. And y'all work hard too. Y'all may want to adopt a cat or a dog if you can afford one. Just I'm telling y'all, if you have a baby fever, baby, let me tell you, I don't want no more children after having a girl cat because I really want a girl. But I'm cool. I don't want nothing. I got a girl cat. She shows me what a girl is about. I'm like, oh, really? <laughs> oh, I'm cool. All I got to do is keep a girl cat. And it'll fill the void of, you know, that baby fever shit. This is real. Y'all got three fucking six of swords. Okay, if that ain't moving away, I don't know what the fuck it is. Y'all got y'all got all movement. Away from fucking death. I know I seen another six of swords oh, right there. Huh? Got three six of swords. Six, 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 honey, getting the fuck away from the devil. You hear me? Ain't never got the time. No more drama. Uh-uh. I ain't got time. This little cute white girl told me a dumb, dumb, don't be a drama llama. <laughs> well, some she said drop the drama llama. <laughs> just like, girl, I'm going to use that. <laughs> Drama llama. Three of Swords. Another one. Relative to money. Take, trying to take your own resources, your possessions. Y'all don't do good with that. You got to know yourself. Y'all are ruled by the second house. Your beliefs. That means that's your foundation. 
your beliefs, what you value, your resources, being patient with motherfuckers, what you want, not just what other people want, what you want. And also what you need. Get what you need. So you all them motherfuckers, huh, get what you need. And then you end up not even getting what you need or getting what you want because you don't understand that you are a storehouse. So that means you have to always have resources if you, you know, putting yourself in a position to be able to help whoever the fuck. It doesn't matter. That just makes you feel, it could make you feel more stable, more grounded, could make you um, feel more, um, like you have more self-worth, self-value. That shit matter. You have some homeless people that ain't supposed to be homeless and they tourists because you're ruled by possessions. You're supposed to have something. You're supposed to be parents and feel doing something. What are you doing out here? You ain't no Pisces. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm some real shit. They ruled by the 12 hours. A lot of Pisces lose their mind. They do if they not grounded. Yeah, we be straight up to this. King of Cups in reverse. But she came out in reverse. It did. The people tired of getting their feelings hurt. Yeah, moving away from the devil. Yeah, working that magic to move. Y'all working y'all magic. Somebody else working that magic to get the fuck away from the devil. I don't know if y'all came into union with this person or if y'all gonna come into union with a person that's like this, but clearly the energy is out here. Some of y'all on the dating scene. Some of y'all trying your hand magic. Y'all sick of calling me and devils, so though. You got to put protection in your magic. Or you gonna fall in the devil, honey, because there's plenty out there. That's my whole point of telling y'all these little different stories. I have something else, but I'm gonna leave it to myself. I'm gonna give it to myself. Clueless. What the fuck is this? I tell you. Three of talents. Just the two of us, honey, baby. Some of y'all may be dealing with a cancer or end up with a cancer. I do not know. Some of y'all may have been dealing with a cancer that was a straight up devil. Some of y'all could have been dealing with a Capricorn. But somebody wants just one on one. They ain't trying to have all that extra shit. Be more vulnerable. Yeah, they ain't here to play no games. They sort of like that. That's like Lucky, Lucky Luciano energy. It's the same energy to me. You know, it's just ain't, uh -uh. I don't want to play no games. Play no games. Fuck around, give you my last name. I know you're tired of the same damn thing. That's okay, cause baby, you, you got it, girl. You got it, girl. You got it, girl. You got it, girl. Some of y'all end up with these type of motherfuckers. Antagonists play too fucking much. You know, just, it makes you just say, okay, this is starting to become a self-respect issue on my part. You know what I'm saying? Let me get it together. As a woman, Taurus. You say, don't worry. Because you're going to be happy with somebody. Whether y'all met them and y'all skeptical or whether y'all haven't and they're coming. But somebody was a fucking devil. And some people, that even the people that's in the emperor energy, Loki Luciano, everybody deals with their self. They deal with devils. People deal with devils. People deal with witchcraft being done on them. All kind of wicked ass shit, y'all. This damn seven of cups. Everybody got shit. It just depends on who's worth, you know, hurting for. Because everybody gonna hurt you, but who's worth hurting for? You know, somebody that's all that they do? Come on. Lay the pros and the cons. Get your list out. Fuck that shit. Don't nobody want to spend their life. You know what I'm saying? You're going to spend most of your life dealing with knuckleheads. Then the rest of your life, you're just going to go out with knuckleheads. Then come on. Page of Gabriel. Energetic, brave, optimistic, playful. So this person is somewhat like a knight of wands energy, but they're not. Follow your passions. You are ready for any challenge. Opportunities for excitement and adventure. And some of y'all may want that. Somebody that's adventurous, optimistic, playful, keep a lighthearted kind of energy, but don't fuck around. Can be like that, but still, you know, don't play with me. That's balance. Let your friends help you. I don't fucking think so. Look at the bigger picture. Yeah. 
Some of y'all may be going for looks. Pretty boys, I'm telling y'all, watch y'all ass. If they wear bras, they got to seem like extra, extra pretty. Oh, he is fine. Okay, just keep scratching. I want you to scratch beyond that foundation and that concealer. Let's see what the fuck he concealing. Because he concealing something. I'm trying to tell you. Healing family issues. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. Even that kind of shit. Oh. Ten of Gabriel, ask your angels for helpful people to lighten your load, working too many hours, trying too hard to please others. Sound like a Taurus to me. <sighs> Queen of Ariel, mature, practical, generous, happy. Nurture yourself and those you love. The ability to make anything more beautiful, practical, and wise advice. Prayerfully, y'all got that here today. Cause I ain't, who the fuck work all hard like this? But it's only to please others. It says, ask your angels for helpful people to lighten your load. Working too many hours, trying too hard to please others. That's this too. This person is the person handing over the fucking purse. He work all hard and just keep giving his money away to somebody that feel entitled. Come up with all the ideas, come up with everything. You rule the second house. You can get used like a motherfucker. And if you fix on that shit, you will think you are fucking doing something for the greater good of humanity, can you see? And the whole time, somebody using the fuck out of you. If you don't turn your motherfucking ass around and go in the right direction and start doing things to benefit you and doing things that you, you know, get what you need, get what you want, and then whatever you have left over, of course you're going to look out for other people. If you're just generous, that's because you got the resources, but that's what you're doing all the motherfucking work. And then make you feel like it's teamwork. You know what I mean? The only teamwork is probably unloading the groceries or some shit. Or taking up some, some simple, some simple to save face. Determination and self-control, career advancement, and not acknowledgement of success by others. Some of y'all may be getting a um, raise or something, or... And advancing your career, an opportunity to help you advance in your career. Whatever you do. A night of Raphael, romantic, dramatic, poetic, introspective. Committed romantic relationships being swept off your feet, situation or topics that make your heart flutter. Okay, y'all have some of them, but that's all they got. Then they leave like a thief in the night. That's because they can't, they, they about to go Uncle Jimmy. They about to go nine of wands. And they ain't trying to get you to see that, you know? Especially if some of y'all are really pretty outwardly. They're not, they're not, they're not trying to, they ain't gonna rock with that. Your dreams need a practical plan, Taurus. So some of y'all dreams need a practical plan. It says stay in your magic, maintain your frequency, complete the cycle with least resistance. So go with the go towards the way of least resistance. Epiphany. Uh, I bet. Joy through spiritual growth. Be a light to others. Answer that answers that come through meditation. So some of y'all need to get into meditation and prayer and come up with a practical plan. Weigh the pros and the cons of the person that you may be on the fence or whether you should be with this person or not or whether you should be with that person or not. If it's two people who kind of tossed up. Then the two of wands come? Yeah. I mean, two of pentacles. So. I'm telling you, that pros and cons will save your life. I used to do pros and cons lists all the time. They got me out of some shit. I'm like, oh, hell no. This ain't gonna work. Sometimes you just reach a steal, man. I don't know what the fuck to do. Get your pros and cons going. I bet your ass see clearly then. You just say, oh my God. I'm all on the pros list. They on the cons. Oh, they a con. Oh, looky, looky. The end of a tough cycle approaches. Some of y'all may be dealing with a Capricorn. Prosperity lies ahead. I'm trying to tell you. So much with the little list of Bye bye. Be like, oh, girl, for real. Okay. So you're the con and I'm the pro. This is bitch. Well, why do you keep taking my money? Your plans are working out very well. Professional and financial success using resources wisely. This is y'all all day, King of Ariel. 
Work with the energy of Ariel, Angel Ariel. Successful, stable, accomplished, powerful. Your plans are working out very well. Some of y'all got somebody who know how to do some magic. You know, kind of sensitive. It's all like, no, that ain't shit. You have invested wisely. Have patience and wait for the harvest. Review your progress and make plans for your next endeavor. Pros and cons. It. I'm trying to tell y'all. You're very close to achieving your goal. It is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all, which is love. Step out of your comfort zone. Yeah. Y'all caught up on looks. Some of y'all caught up on looks. A beard, a lineup, locks, dreads. Uh, no, no. They use a little brush to make it look like they got their hair just standing up all over their head. There's a lot of handsome um, football players that wear their hair like that. My son wears his hair like that. No, I like that. But, honey, they be crazy. So, y'all may be tossed up between a look and somebody's just, just a good person. Just, you know. You can see Lucky Luciano sitting like that. It's not far fetched. You know what I mean? Somebody that's gonna love you and ain't gonna play no motherfucking game just because they cute. Then y'all gonna be faithful, and they're gonna be faithful to you. That's why he covering her for JJ, and she covering his penis. You know what I'm saying? You know, you know, outside interference. You know, you want the fucking teamwork and shit. Give me a break. Yeah, man. I pray y'all come and see you with somebody that got their head on their shoulders. I pray, I pray that y'all do that pros and cons list so y'all make the right decision and the right choices because some of y'all tossed up with something. But y'all know somebody talks too damn much. It's a man. Just what they say rub you the wrong way. If you a tourist woman, I'll rule the second house. So y'all gonna be looking for a man. Even if y'all are the responsible party, y'all naturally gonna look for somebody that's responsible too. They got values, core beliefs, you know, convictions. Somebody just patient, kind, you know? What you want. Y'all know what y'all want, so get what you need when you're doing your magic. And make sure you put protection work in there if you're trying to call anybody in. If you want to hire out, hire me. I'll do it for you. And if you're on this channel, carefully you got in the uh, two that I did. I did two calling your soulmate, which was so. When it's time for the third one, y'all know I'm gonna put it in the real to it. Like y'all, if y'all ain't ain't recording and nobody be calling off. We ain't doing that, honey. We are we co-creating with the universe, honey. You mixing and scratching. That's what chaos magic is. You hear me? Trying to come up with some honey. Mm -mm, we need some serendipity going on. So damn, I never thought I would meet somebody like you. This is crazy. A back that's actually there and then fucking ghost me and leave me with my fucking face. Scratched up on the fucking concrete. All right, Taurus. If y'all feeling the vibe, please like, share, and subscribe. Love and like.